Hello everybody, I'm Mark Mazzatenta and I'm here to help strengthen your guitar skills. Today's topic has to do with um, tension in the hands and how to get rid of it. Mm, I've got my brewed cacao with me this morning to help me out. It's good stuff. Well, if you watch guitar players like Frank Gambale, Alan Holdsworth, um, John Schofield, if you watch their fretting hand, it just looks like this. It's super light, super soft. They can get around, their fingers aren't stiffening up, and they stay loose, they stay relaxed, and they're amazing guitar players. And they can play a two-hour concert or a three-hour concert without getting tired. And I often tell my students, you know, how are you going to play a two-hour gig or even a one-hour concert with all that tension? Okay, you're not. So today's video is going to share with you a couple of exercises and how to reduce that tension and to stay nice and loose. Uh, I'm wearing my Bob Ross shirt, one of my Bob Ross shirts, and if you've never seen Bob Ross's painting um, shows, you should definitely watch those. And when he's trying to tell a painter to drag the knife across the canvas in the lightest way possible, he describes it as, it's like a whisper, like a whisper, that light. And so we can apply the same thing to our fretting hand to stay as light as possible. Because here's what happens, you know, guys will get together to jam and, you know, they'll sit, sit on the couch and pretty soon they end up looking like this. Can't play anything sitting like this. Okay, your arm is on top of your leg. So you can't move. And then your hand, your thumb is going to be gripping. And it's just not good because you're stuck. You can't move. And everything is hard. So first thing to do is just position the instrument so that the neck is up a little bit like this because then it lines up perfectly with your arm and a straight wrist and curve your fingers and boom everything's there you have total mobility to get everywhere you want to and your fingers are right on top of the strings everywhere so that's step number one so here are the exercises I want to share with you I'm going to use a major scale, a C major scale, to demonstrate this. And I, but you can play any note that you want. And you want to make it buzz. Hear the buzz. is there because I'm not pushing hard enough. So you're training your finger to almost have the right pressure, but you're getting a buzz. And then when I add just a slight bit more pressure, the buzz goes away and you have a nice clear note. So now the buzz is gone and I've trained my fingertips now to learn what that correct amount of pressure is and not to go beyond it. That's the important thing. And when you learn that, you have this just ease. Right, your fingers stay nice and loose and relaxed. Here's another um, exercise you can do, and that is just take your left hand thumb off of the fretboard. So that teaches you good placement to begin with, to be right behind the fret. And it also teaches you that, hey, just the natural weight of your finger does most of the pressing. Your thumb's not there to be pushing. It's just there to support your fingers as they push a little bit. So I would play without your thumb, nice clear notes, and 
that also will sensitize your fingertip to the amount of pressure that's needed. And it makes you realize, hey, most of the pressure is there already, and just the natural weight of your finger. Uh, so. You get this nice fluid, light touch. And it feels great, because you're not stiffening up any, anything, and it allows for smooth mobility everywhere, and you don't get tired. So, because most guitar players grab too much, so I think that'll help you, <clears throat> and I want you to try those two exercises. I think you'll really like the result uh, that you'll get, and a lot of times I, I wish that there was some kind of invention of a fretboard that would have sensors on all of our frets and that could show you on a screen the amount of pressure that you're putting down and the amount that you need and if you go press too hard you would see it on a screen like wow you went way beyond what's needed that would be cool to see that but you can think it and you can try these two exercises that'll sensitize your fingertips um, to only press the amount you need and not to go over that all right, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. I post new content every Monday. Some are instructional, some are performance. And I'll see you back here at the next video.